Hey, you guys, welcome back to Lex Journey with Spirit. I'm your girl, Lex. I'd like to welcome all of my new and returning viewers and subscribers to my channel, as your presence and your support is highly appreciated. And do know that we are one. So, do remember that if the messages on this channel do not resonate, do not force it. There may be another video on here for you, in which, which is the reason why Spirit led you to this channel. Um, before I begin, let me go ahead and do a friend of them. I'm just going to light the, light my candles. Spirit to light this candle. I only ask for those with a purified light to enter the space and call upon my spirit guides and ancestors to assist me with this collective reading and to provide me with their accurate and clear messages. Please disregard and block any negative and evil eye or those who are not serving a positive purpose or my higher good. Only allow those who are my higher good to enter and to be a part of this channel and to protect those who are watching. Oh, excuse me, I got a spiritual burp there, you guys. All right, so I'm immediately picking up on someone who is blocked. Okay, with the Six of Wands coming out, there's a lot of eyes on you at this time. There's definitely a lot of eyes on you. And I feel like there's someone who is trying to block your presence or block a view or block something from happening for you. I feel like whoever this person is um, or this energy that's showing up in this reading, you really don't know who they are. Yeah, I have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Like I said, you have a lot of eyes on you. They're trying to block something from happening. Spirit threw out the chariot here. Um, so it's like night and day with this person. This person can be very wishy-washy, um, very fake, very phony. They're not very authentic. Um, they don't have any creativity of their own. So I feel like whoever this person is, they're trying to block your creativity or block whatever you're providing to the collective or to the public. I feel like you're in the public eye or you have some type of platform, whether this be Facebook, Instagram, um, a, a business, um, clothing. I'm here, entrepreneur, self-employed, self-go-getter. Um, I'm hearing a lot of words about self. So whoever you are, you're someone who works for yourself. You may also be a tarot reader or have a YouTube channel. But whoever this person is around you, they're definitely trying to block you from obtaining something here with the Three of Swords. And I feel like a lot of you guys are in despair about this in about this situation. Um, I feel like you feel feel like there's no support or there's no one, there's not not one soul to support you. If you look at this card clear enough, you see the guy in the background walking away. And the swords in her back. I feel like this is your energy. You feel like the that you're losing all the support that you have for whatever you've created. Because at one point in time, you had a lot of eyes on you. There was a lot of people watching you and trying to support you and, you know, guide you or, you know, be a part of your success. But I feel like whoever this person is, they've been putting, I'm hearing black magic or spell work towards your business or towards something that you're doing that's positive. I will tell you one thing. Um, Spirit wants me to share this with you guys. Like I've been having the same situation with my YouTube channel where YouTube has been tampering with my viewers and my subscriptions and my subscribers. And do know if you have a purpose or a message to deliver or to provide to the world, there's always going to be somebody that's trying to stop that because what 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 fun would it be without good and evil, right? How can we how can we conquer evil if there if if, if good can't fight? I can, you know, situations like that. The spirit threw out a card here with the five of cups in the upright. So with this card, I'm definitely picking up on someone who is laying to rest a lot of situations. I feel like you feel like your cups are empty or this person that is trying to um, get in the way of your success wants your cups to be empty. They want you to have nothing. Yeah, with the moon card here. They want you to wander around with nowhere to go, lost and confused, dazed, and, you know, just out of it. 
um, with the seven of pentacles here, I feel like there's going to be a breakthrough for you, but this is a temporary. They, they can't stop this from happening with the nine of wands. I definitely see a celebration happening for someone. Someone may be having a baby, or this could be happening during a time of a celebration. All right. Yeah, with the eight of swords, there was definitely some there was definitely something that you discovered or you realized in reference to this person. And it's like you let this person go. You're like, you know what, forget it. I'm not gonna help you. Or um, I'm not gonna let this get to me, is what I hear from spirit. Somebody you may know this person, but I feel like a lot of you guys do not know who this person is. I feel like this has something to do with a platform that you're building or attempting to build. I feel like spirit is saying that limit your information. Don't tell everybody everything. Whoever this message is for, you have a tendency of sharing a lot of information with people because you're not shy. Okay, yeah, with the judgment card in reverse, whoever this person is, they're definitely going to get their due judgment in reference to this situation here. With the empress in reverse, this person is not acting in their true high, is not acting as their true higher selves. This person is a fake, it's fake as fuck. Okay, with the hangman here, they going through a lot of bullshit. They're in a lot of confusion with the wheel of fortune in reverse. You know what I'm saying? And the five of swords. Like this person, every every attempt that they've made has only stopped you temporarily, but has not halted you. It may have been like a blockade. You're like, oh well, you know what I'm saying? Maybe next week I might be able to do this, or maybe next week I'm or or not today, or maybe another time. You are very humble about the situation. Spirit said that you're very humble, but you're going to get your two of cups here is what Spirit is saying. Like you're going to get everything that you've been waiting for or whatever you've been praying for. They say spirits have heard your cries or have heard your requests in reference to this situation. But somebody definitely was trying to block something from being seen or spoken or what if there was something that you wrote or something that you did or something that that you do do that that makes this person feel threatened. This person is definitely threatened by your energy, by your presence, by the things that you do and say. And they just don't want nobody else to listen to what you have to say or to hear you or to see you. Because it's like when people get around you, you have this energy about you that just people just tend to gravitate. And oftentimes you often ask yourself, like, why do these random people just keep talking to me? It is your energy, is spirit is saying. Okay, spirit throughout the last cards they said. Okay, yeah, with the two of swords, like, I feel like a lot of you guys felt bound by this situation and that there wasn't going to be any escape. But with the star here, you are the star. You are the person that is moving forward. You are the person that is meant for this great success. You understand? With the four of swords in reverse, this person is definitely going to get what the fuck is coming to them because they've been fucked with the wrong motherfucking divine masculine and divine feminine. See, they thought shit was sweet, but didn't know who the fuck it was going up against. Spirit wants me to pull from this debt here. We're going to go ahead and clarify this situation. Spirit, please clarify. Um, why is this person trying to block my, my collection? Okay. Okay. Trying to get these, these cards are stuck together. Spirit, release. Thank you. Okay, so Spirit say this person or you will reap what you have sown. Harvest. This is your harvest season. So this person is trying to stop your harvest season. I feel like you guys are coming out of a situation where you had to deal with a lot of turmoil, disappointment, um, some type of um, battle or struggle. Okay, but Spirit say long, long road ahead. Street is dark. So even though it is a long road ahead or you've gone down a long road ahead and it has been dark moments, you've gone through dark moments or you've gone through your hermit mode or you've gone through your shadow, or you did your shadow work, you're coming out of a situation where you're stepping into to a season of harvest. And these people see that because you're stepping into the season of harvest, they don't want you to have this gloriful, you know, reawakening or this, this great return, okay? Yeah, I have the room here, birth or rebirth new um, relationships, new phases, new projects, um, marriage. That it, It's important life changes that are coming your way. And this person knows that you're getting this gift or that you're getting this 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 new rebirth, this this new beginning. And they don't want you to, they don't want you to have this. But spirits say no pain, no gain, stronger than you look. So they didn't realize that coming up against you, that they were coming up, a true, coming up against a true divine feminine or masculine. And that you are not weak, that you're stronger than what you think, than what you look like. And in the spirit, in, in, in the look, in the 3D and the 5D, 
you are stronger than what they than what they know. They didn't know who the fuck they were fucking with. Let's put it like that. Spirit threw out a card for cards here. Yeah. Sunday may be very significant or was significant for somebody. Um, because you was like, I will not compete, I will not compare. You know, I'm just going to sit back. I'm going to let this play out. Have your little fun. Hee hee ha ha. I feel like a lot of you guys took it as a nonchalant situation. Like, you know what? I ain't going to let this situation get me down. Like, forget it. It's gonna, I'm going to have more opportunities than that. But spirits say this is your spiritual inheritance. This is a birthright. It's yours. This is something that has already been pre um, predestined because they're using you. These people have been using your image, using your words, using your materials. It's like they've been taking and stealing. I'm hearing copycats. These people are copycats. They want to be just like you. You're their biggest admirer, but they're the biggest hater at the same damn time. Okay? Spirit said angelic protection, though. So you definitely have a lot of angelic protection. People are using you or trying to turn you against other people. Okay? And you may feel like there's no way out of this situation. Okay? Spirit say you're going to get back up. You're going to fight. This is your time to fight back. And they're fighting with you. They have seen everything that has been done in the dark that you have not been able to witness. So spirit is very much aware of your situation. Spirit, can you clarify um, another reason why? What, what What is to come of this? Okay, because this person was a smooth operator. I feel like whoever this person is, they use their position or some type of job to do this harm to you or to try to block whatever you were doing. Okay, yeah. With the few who coming out here, this is um, material gain, cattle, wealth, um, property, or abundance. This person was trying to steal your abundance. This person was trying to take from you. They were trying to stop your coins from coming in, okay? They wanted to see you in poverty. It was like they get a, they they didn't want you to prosper off of your knowledge. They didn't want you to prosper off of the skills that you have, okay? Spirit threw his card out here. Yeah, piss poor attitude and behavior. So whoever this person is, like I, like I, like I was saying in another reading, like this person comes off as if they're very nice, but they really do have like this, this cocky ass piss poor behavior, like, they're better than somebody with their nose turned up, but with smile on your face. You get what I'm saying? And, and talk shit behind your back at the same time. And it, it might be hard to catch this person in a lie, is what I heard, because they've been lying all their life. It's become second nature. But but coming up against you, they've realized that they've met their match. Okay? They're going to be exposed. Spirit said they're going to be stopped. So this may happen on a Sunday or Tuesday. I'm hearing Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sagittarius, okay, everlasting romance. So I feel like whatever this this two of um this two of pentacles and this two of cups that you're and this ten of pentacles and this, that you're gonna be receiving is gonna come with some type of long term abundance for you. When I see the car everlasting romance, I just don't think about physical romance because we could be in love with our craft. We could be in love with our children. We can be in love. The, whatever whatever your romance or your passion is, this is something that's going to be everlasting. It's going to be endless. It's, it can't be stopped. This person can't get in the way of what has been in, been yours. It's a spiritual inheritance. You're rightfully do this. They, it, they can't stop this. They could try to hinder you all day. I feel like this person uses a lot of black magic or they're doing a lot of binding spells to try to stop you from moving forward. Okay, spirit threw out so many cards here. Okay. This car fell right on top. Whoever this person is, they may be mentally ill or they may come off as being mentally ill. Like Spirit said, this is a rebirth and rejuvenation for you. Spirit released the card. Spirit got the card stuck. Okay. This is a re, re, rebirth and rejuvenation. Okay. This person told a white lie on you or they tried to slander your name or your image in the community. Trying to make it seem like, um, trying to make it seem like you, 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 you are not who you say you are. Okay, that's what they were doing. They were trying to make it seem like you were not who you say you are. Like I said, somebody may be pregnant or maybe going through an abortion or miscarriage. They're sending a lot of negative energy your way towards your unborn child. So this person, whoever you are, you may be pregnant or you may be experienced or maybe coming pregnant and they're hoping that because you become pregnant this will stop you too like they're they're doing any and everything to try to bind you or hinder you but what they don't understand is that nothing can stop you uh okay join the team and lost so 
they they joined the team and lost. You know what I'm saying? Like this person joined up with somebody, paired up with somebody. It's more than one person here though. But that secondary energy isn't as strong as the first dairy energy. Okay. This person is a fake ass, fake ass ho friend, friend of me in the flesh. So like I said, some of you guys may know who this person is, but I feel like the majority of you guys do not know this person. And this, this person has a very good way of cloaking themselves or they're watching you through some form of platform or business that you have. Trying to walk and fill your shoes can't compete. You don't compare. So they're starting to realize that they can't fill your shoes. They can't do what you do. But I feel like this person has been stealing your content and your information, okay? And been trying to um, get in between whatever you got going on with the So Willow here. Um, it's definitely a lot of personal growth and, and success and break through the darkness. So you're definitely breaking through that darkness. You're, you're gaining your spiritual power. You're learning how to utilize your spiritual power. And you're not, well, you're not going to take no shit from no fucking man. Okay. Is what spirit is saying. Friday may be significant for somebody or something will be happening Friday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday, Wednesday. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday may be significant. Um, this belongs to me. So Spirit says you're acknowledging the fact that whatever is going on, this is yours. Um, it doesn't belong to nobody else. Whoever this person is is doing this, they're definitely distant from you. So they're not in the same vicinity of you, but they're able to view you in some type of way. Okay. Um, this person may wear a lot of designer clothes or have a lot of designer items, or maybe you are the person doing a lot of designer fashion like i said somebody works with their hands and they have a platform they have some type of platform okay at the bottom of the deck <laughs> they are a tarot reader so whoever this person is they're definitely a tarot reader or they design clothes yeah bottom of the deck stealing your content okay the spirit wants you to know that you're more than enough all right pretend um Protected and you're protected by the divine. Believe in your ability is what spirit says. They are being and they're being honest and pure, with pure intentions. So spirit wants you to know that they're not being honest because when I see they are being honest, I see the word they are not. I'm seeing in bright letters above this not, not, not. You guys can't say, it, but spirit is showing me the word not. So not being honest. They don't have pure intentions for you, whoever this person is. They're definitely a hater of the most motherfucking highest child, and they don't know who the fuck they fucking with. This person may have made a lot of false promises to you or may have made it seem like that you're going to get something out of 